Hello, I'm Adrian and welcome to Fight Scene Breakdown. Today we're breaking down the awesome fight scene between Spider-Man and Venom from Spider-Man vs Venom 2 Spider-Man Ultimate. What triggers the first move in the fight is Spider-Man calling Venom by his least favorite name, his actual last name Brock. Venom flies into a rage and smashes the ground with full force, leading it to crack just like an earthquake. But we're dealing with a symbiote enhanced Spider-Man here, so he sees this coming a mile away and after quickly leaping out of danger, blocks a right hook from Venom and follows up with a straight punch towards his chest. He now performs a kick combo that pretty much only Spider-Man can do with his enhanced strength and agility. He begins it by jumping into a roundhouse, but then continues to use his momentum from the jump to flip over and deliver a hybrid hook axe kick to Venom's head. Venom's a little stunned from the impressive move and after leaping backwards to gain some distance, fires his organic webbing at Spider-Man, who quickly dodges a blast to fire some of his own and deliver a powerful knee to his chest, Muay Thai signature move. Venom then executes a classic move from Taekwondo, the double roundhouse kick. This move is effective for covering a large distance while also attacking. Taking advantage of his close proximity to Spider-Man, he follows up with a right hook and a straight punch, which are both blocked. Reading Spider-Man's move, Venom seizes the opportunity to wrap his hand around said punch and tosses him into oblivion. Spider-Man is much too far away to go to now, so he instead uses his webbing to slam him against several objects around the factory. As he is swinging his way back towards Venom, he unleashes a punch that sends Venom flying. After a brief conversation, a truly awesome scene where Spider-Man flips and dodges several pieces of factory junk, and having a large pipe thrown at him from Venom, the fisticuffs resume. Venom launches a straight punch, follows up with two backhanded strikes, blocks a low punch from Spider-Man, and counters with a quick tap to the chest. Parker throws one quick punch and a really neat roundhouse kick to the head, but when Venom's counter to his kick fails to connect, he launches a powerful punch to the head. Venom quickly blocks a punch and flawlessly executes a jump spin hook kick, a technique which is a staple within the flashier moves available in Taekwondo. A couple of blocks and punches later, Spider-Man headbutts Venom, causing him to punch him in retaliation. After relocating, Spider-Man decides to use the same move Venom tried on him earlier, but does not count on Venom reading said move and turning it back against him, slamming him on another part of the factory. Dodging a web attack from Venom, he quickly swings in to attempt to score a previously landed hit, but to no avail. Venom stops all his momentum with a mighty punch and slams him into the ground for good measure. Spider-Man web blasts him in order to avoid Venom cracking his skull like he did to the ground earlier, but he is severely weakened at this point. He attempts to fight back, but Venom has simply overpowered Spider-Man by this time, and after a few quick hits, including a powerful elbow, lands a devastating spinning back kick, a kick meant to simulate the kicking power and technique of a horse. What's so fantastic about making an animated fight scene is that your imagination is the only thing limiting you in terms of what you show and how your fighter performs. In other words, you could stage perfectly executed fights and put the camera wherever you'd like to maximize the effectiveness of the sequence. In this case, we routinely zoom in when the action requires it and zoom back out to get a better idea of where the fighters are. We can also follow the fighters when they are in the air and in this awesome sequence right here, can float the camera around them in order to obtain the best angle to see the action without having to cut at all. What should also be said is that when they are punching each other, every single hit can actually land, letting us see shots such as these where you can see the impact instead of having to cheat it like in live action. I highly recommend watching the full YouTube video as it is a really well done adaptation of the symbiote storyline from the Spider-Man comics. In this episode, Venom is sensing that there is something different about him, but can't pinpoint exactly what it is, and of course he ends up running into Spider-Man. The dialogue exchanges are really true to character and serve to give the fight dramatic stakes so we know exactly why they are fighting. Spider-Man vs Venom 2 is a very well made animation with perhaps the best fight scene I've ever seen between these two characters and I recommend it to any Spider-Man or martial arts fan out there. What did you guys think of the fight? Which fight would you like me to analyze next? Subscribe and you can follow me on my Twitter, Instagram and brand new Facebook fan page Godzilla Rex. See you next time.